Hey guys, Dr. Tim Padlack here from Physio Orthopedics and Performance. Uh, we are a physical therapy, runner specialty, power, endurance, athlete specialty clinic here in the Merriman Valley. I um, wanted to give you a couple exercises you can do after running, you know, from low back down to ankles, uh, things that you can do and stretches you can go through and perform. Every stretch may be a permanent change. We held for about 30 seconds for three rounds. Um, technically, you need 18 seconds to make a permanent change, but everyone's a fast count, let's go to 30. So number one, I'll have you guys roll on your stomach and for the low back, you'll keep your hips on the ground and you'll press them into a cobra pose, which you will hold for 30 seconds and relax back to neutral. The key is not let your hips come off the ground, but just keep your hips on the ground and go into that cobra pose. You know, you can then continue along that hip and go down the body and you flip onto your back. For glute med, you'll pull a hip up and towards your opposite shoulder, you feel a high glute stretch with this. It will be a 30 second hold. There should be no pain with any of these movements, but that is a glute med stretch for the upper portion of the hip. That's a very running related muscle to stability. You're gonna follow it up by going to this figure four position and pulling your leg up to your chest. This will be a low glute stretch, lower close to your sitting bone. You will hold that guy for three by 30 seconds. You can then rotate to an upright position and flip to this hurdler stretch where the hamstring and the knee is flat on the ground and I give a toe reach here and feel a stretch in my low back and the back of my hamstring and cap a little bit. Three by 30 seconds. You can then flip it back to your back, hit this figure four position, rotate your foot to the outside and that will be a TFL stretch into the high hip. The last one that I would add on before standing up and going to the calves would be flipped over to a more upright position where you at 90 degrees here, a straight hip here, you shift your hips forward, almost like trying to rotate your pelvis forward. The leg that's being stretched, I reach an arm to the sky, the other arm down, I can go a little lean forward for a rectus femoris stretch. I can even pop this hip into the air, this foot to the air to feel a stronger stretch all along that rectus femoris and hip flexor musculature. Um, after you've done everything on the ground in that half kneeling position, you'll just pop over with a knee straight stretch and a knee bent stretch. The knee straight stretch is for the gastroc, the knee bent stretch is for the soleus, which is the lower part of the muscle. Um, this should be done in combination with foam rolling. Foam rolling would happen before you go through that static stretching. So we'll flash our website at the bottom. If you guys have any specific questions, feel free to email myself or Dr. Mike. Thanks, guys.